Hi guys, welcome. Skellink here and we're off for a very belated uh, test video of the Elgato 60 HD Pro. Uh, new capture device that I have for uh, upgrading from the box here which can only do 1080p 30 frames. This can do 1080p 60 with no uh, latency from conversion to USB, uh, well from HDMI to USB because it's actually plugged directly into the motherboard of my new PC which has a uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 1660 in there. Although I have been trying to record this in particular with uh, Roxio's own 4K capture utility, seems to bug uh, or stutter a bit, but I think that might be because I had the bitrate at 10,000, I lowered it to 8,000, uh, 8,600, which I think was the lowest setting for 1080p 60 frame video, but I am just to be on the safe side recording this in the, uh, in OBS so I can capture my microphone as well. The 4K capture utility also allows me to do that as well, but, uh, a lot of, some people may also say that I shouldn't be using the 4K capture utility, but that's what I was directed to. That's what the packaging took me to. So that's what I'm using, but I can still open that up, and it's just a viewer. It doesn't seem to like make it disappear in OBS, and of course OBS is bit as um, compatibility with Elgato. It actually says when you go to the video capture um, tab, like to put that in as a source, it mentions Elgato, but not the Roxio, which is ironic. So, but hey, if this still works, that's fair because I mean it needs to work in OBS at least, so I can stream it. But right now I'm recording it, so. We're going to be playing a Res Infinite, and uh, we're going to be playing the Area X because um, I believe this was a remake of a PS2 game, the original Res anyway, that's what you're seeing gameplay of in the background there. And it's also compatible with VR, which obviously we're not going to see because I don't know how you can capture that and I don't have a PS uh, VR headset. Yes, this is being played on the PS4 Pro, and uh, yeah, it is a 60 frame game, that's why I wanted to test this one out. Uh, there was also, this game was also free with eight other games, plus uh, Horizon Zero Dawn with the Play at Home series, which happened earlier on this year in 2021, uh, gave you a couple of free games. So this was one of them, and I was, well, I haven't played it a lot, but I enjoyed what I saw. It is basically a rhythm shooting game where you're pretty much like this virtual man slash AI going through cyberspace. I assume you're basically floating in a black void with geometry. Uh, you shoot things, it goes to the beat to the music, and sparkly shit happens. <laughs> it's basically the best way to describe it, because it is pretty. So, we're going to go in Area X, and uh, music be damned. I'm pretty sure this is a... Uh, isn't this a Sega game? It used to be, I think. Um, and I'm normally alright with that sort of stuff. But, you know, if I can't upload this for whatever reason, I will remove it. But And I'll get another video test or something or other, or I'll make mention of this in passing. But hopefully this will not have any micro stutter from the previous time I tried to record this. Uh, let's try it again. So we're just going to play the game. We're going to pretty much do this in one go. And I want to avoid damage as much as possible. So the controls are um, hold X to target, let go to fire. Obviously, left uh, analog stick is to move about. R1 is to slow yourself down. You can go to complete stop. And R, uh, blah, 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 blah. R2 is to accelerate. And this is what we are. We just get plopped in. That wasn't lag. That was just how it came in. Now, the stutter I was having was very minimal. But it but when it did happen, it, I missed like a good second or so. So it wasn't really watchable in my opinion. Um... So yeah, we're trying again, and I've lowered the bitrate, and it seems to be a lot smoother than what it was before, so that's really all I need to do. I might even be able to up the bitrate in um, OBS as well, but I'm keeping it at 6,500 for now for the recording, because it seems to be pretty decent. Um, also, you know, memory's a thing. But you can hear right here, the music is playing, I am targeting shit, I am firing my lasers, and it's very catchy. And there we are, we can get ourselves our third, first health upgrade. And we want to grab as many of those as possible because obviously if we take too much damage we will degrade. And if we degrade, well, we'll be close to death. But the more we upgrade, the more our colour becomes more vibrant. The more faster our lasers fly, as you can see. We can always target up to a maximum of 8 no matter what though. Our lasers also get a little bit more stronger. 
and obviously gives us more survivability. I need to stop moving forward, so let's stop doing that for now. So I can shoot every single one of these missiles, which is quite perfect. And there we are, so that's been all taken care of. These four aren't going to get me though, so bye bye. Shoot the second little part sparkly, and then we target a maximum. And then we hit warp speed! Alright, welcome to the City of Stars. We have squids. Shoot them. They are going to shoot projectiles at you and they will hurt. So let's not have that. Yeah, there's no, like, actual... Okay, there was a slight stutter there. It should be alright though. Was that a stutter or was that just the game being weird? Where's the target? Where's the target? Okay, I've got to move forward. Yeah, I'm quite hesitant. You can hold the R2 button to go backwards as well. So we're just going to cautiously move ahead toward the obelisk. There we are. We've got more targets. Just morphing out of the uh, constellation buildings. Ooh, everything's turned on now. It's not inert anymore. Nope. Squid, get out of it. Let's just keep gingerly moving forward for now. Nope. Okay, it fired at me. You can shoot their projectiles as well, so that is not a problem. Just make sure you stay on top of everything. There we go. They're appearing all over the place now. This is actually getting all over the place. Let me come to a stop for a second. Yep, this was a good place to stop. Distance is key, because then you're able to move the reticle over them in order to target them much more easier. I think I have to move forward again now, so let's do this, just that. It's like we're entering enemy territory. Alright, so this area is now complete. I was just taking my time there. Perfectly fine. And... We have snakes. Shoot their panels every time they spawn. They take a lot of abuse. So just keep on top of them. This is pretty much this segment of the level of the uh, game here. I was about to say level. It pretty much is one big level split into five segments. I believe this is seg yeah, this is segment three. Okay, he's actually coming over uh, after me. So let's go around like that and shoot him. Okay, those didn't actually catch me, so that's fine. Let's stop moving for a second. Get our bearings. Yeah, shooting shots at us. Shoot the pink dream portals. Control is like similar to, well, the, the combat is basically like Kingdom Hearts gummy ships from Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. You hold the button to target, and then you let go to shoot at every single thing if you have those gummies. Can't dodge, uh, well, barrel roll or anything of the sort like that. Oh, wait, 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 where is he? Where is he? There he is. Oh my god, I'm surrounded by shots. Not good. Alright, we're good. Now, as you know, when it comes to these test videos, I don't do a lot of editing. Um, mostly just chopping off the beginning and end like I usually do because of consistency. Uh, but anything uh, other than sound balancing, I'm pretty much going to leave completely intact. Uh, stutters and all, if there's not that many stutters at all, which so far... Other than that one time that I think the sound may have started, that is about it. And that's only happened once, I think. But the gameplay hasn't started, which is what was happening, and sometimes the screen even went black for a second. So that hasn't happened, so we're on good pace. So I am feeling pretty optimistic with my current settings. And we'll stick with those for now, and then I'll probably push my luck later on by bumping it up and notch on my spice weasel. Speaking of spice, let's get some sparkles up in this shit. Skidoosh! And now we get to something a little bit more similar to Star Fox, and this is actually where we want to be dashing about. So we can go shoot these, uh... Meteorites, as I like to call them. They pretty much are data clusters, aren't they? But the music keeps on going wow, 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 and it does bother me a little bit, because it sounds like my... Uh, I thought I was having problems with audio-wise, but... Nah, that's just the game, so... Don't worry. It's because we're getting close. This is segment four. So, 
Just gotta go to every single one of these nodes, take them out. Reminds me of, uh, what was it, the Bolt Station, I think it's called. You know, where you have to go around in Star Fox 64, shoot all those, uh, the beams, so to unlock the central pillar, but then Star, Fo uh, Star Wolf, it shows up. Yeah, this reminds me of that. Thankfully, we can take them out at a distance, which is probably a good thing, since we can take care of all the other little uh, things that show up along with. Uh, let's stop moving for a second here. Actually, no, nah, let's not. Let's get moving again, because this is going to probably end in pain otherwise. Thing is, though, unlike the uh, the main game, because this pretty much because they kept remaking the game over and over. They made an HD version, then they made Infinite, and Infinite includes uh, Area X, what we're playing now. This is, I think this was built in Unreal Engine 4. I had to do a little bit of research because I don't know anything about this game, and I didn't even know if it was a series. I thought it was just its own thing, but no, it was like a PS2 slash Dreamcast original, and then it got obviously the HD widescreen treatment with. Uh, Res HD and then Res Infinite added, you know, a few extra game modes for the main game as well as this, which is built on Unreal Engine 4. That's what I uh, can deduce from reading. And apparently there was no sequel, but this is as close as you're going to get to a sequel. And it is its own little, uh, it is its own little game, and it's a really good, it's a really good side mode, it, well, extra level, I guess. Yeah, you can do it all in one go, so, can't complain. In fact, I prefer playing this more than the, uh, the main game, even though obviously the main game's got a lot more content in there. Shoot it once, shoot it eight times, that's how we unlock that, and now it's time to fight the final boss! And this also works as a nice good test video as well, because, actually no, it's not the final boss, this is uh, the semi-final boss, my bad. Uh, don't know how I got that wrong, there's six phases, not five. <laughs> Uh, time to fight the semi-final boss. <laughs> but yeah, again, th th that's why I wanted to like use this game instead of like something like Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy because it's visually different. It's something I haven't covered before, and it's also well, 1080p, 60 frames, which is exactly what I needed to actually test things in the first place. So far, I haven't had to move, which is really good. Never mind. As soon as I say that, I get smacked like a bitch. And I have degraded, as you can tell. So I'm not going to reach a state of zen after this, because if I could have got that, I would have upgraded. So, yeah, I'm a little bit mad about that. Oh, God. Okay, I normally take one of these out at a time, but they kind of both uh, were on top of me at once, so that wasn't ideal. Alright, let's bring it around town. Shoot these. There we are. Oh, God. They're cycling me. Yeah, but you, you guys, let me know how the quality is actually looking. Because I'm actually playing through the viewfinder, uh, through OBS right now. And there's no input lag at all, which is really cool. Which helps for streaming, because that means I don't have to look at another screen for chat. I can just continue playing on what I'm actually playing on. Because I always have to look away, and I'm like, oh, what's chat saying? That, again, for the live streaming purposes. But hey, we're going to get a full playthrough of a game here, and I haven't done one of those in a while, as we all know. Past year's been crazy. I've been doing a lot of collabs though, with Nerd Herd and uh, Super LP Heroes with Versus, Adaman and Super Lucario. So it's not like we haven't been doing things. Did that hit me? Or did I dodge that just in time? Or did I shoot it just in time? I can't tell. Uh, right, I thought we're good. Right, I think I took all of them out except for that one shot. There we are, got him. Weren't the best run I've had, but hey. Let's go shoot that. I haven't actually been getting a lot of power ups, even though I've been shooting everything. Because I'm actually at my weakest level right now, so I have to do this flawlessly. Which is actually worse than what I had last time, but hey, if we break some of these, we might be able to get um, some power ups, so we might be alright. And you'll want to grab these before you head onwards. Because this is the final boss. Okay, let's focus on this one. Two fully max shots is what you need to destroy these things. Let's just tap to cruise. Tap R1 to cruise even. Ah, there we are. We got it. So let's shoot that so we can absorb that. We've got an additional hit. 
That's all we're going to get. That w If we grabbed that and not took damage just then, uh, in the previous segment, we would have, well, yeah, been in a state of zen and we'd have been ultra powerful. And we could have taken three hits before we, uh, I believe, before we degraded. But no, nope, I've only got the one hit, so... Bring it on, Mistress AI. Right, so most of the time I want to stay here so I can target everything as we go. And if things get too close is when we want to actually move because they do punish you for camping. And I'm going to have to start moving now. At least cruising is enough to uh, keep them at bay. So we can maneuver around. Shoot all these. Boom. There we go. Got another round of shots. Most of the time these missiles don't actually home in. They're just shots that you have to take out. Ah, there we are. So now we want to unload all of our shots at max. Three maximum rounds. And there we are, it's phase one done. Alright, so now this is where things get crazy. Alright, so the middle ones first. And I think this time they will actually try to start homing in on you. So. Also, lyrics start kicking up. Squids, take them out a ASAP. Oh, I just got sniped from behind. That is not ideal at all this early on. Ouch. Thankfully, your reticle will show you if there is, like, something behind you or something, but, uh, again, that was not ideal at all. Right, I need to get out of here. Oh, God. Jesus. This is not good at all. Uh, are we good? Nope. We've got more squids. Take them all out. There we go. Hang back for now. We killed the squids, they turned the missiles. That's not good. Yep, it is a bullet hell. Things will get crazy. Nope, shoot the shots that they're firing at me as well. I'm not having it. There we go. I think that's that round done. Yep, I can target the core. That took a few more shots than usual because I'm weak, but hey. She's becoming gold and vibrant, and this is where it gets really ridiculous. There is a circle of panels, and they can spawn quite near you. So this is where I pretty much just flee like a coward, <laughs> because I've got no health. Oh, I'm getting a bit of stutter now. That's not good. There's too many particles on the screen. Uh, not from the console, from the viewer that I'm looking at, which is probably what's getting captured. But hey, it's the occasional stutter. It's nowhere near as bad as what I had before can't complain. I just need to probably lower the bit rate a bit more. Music hasn't been stuttering either, which is nice. So, not from what I can hear. Then again, I'm talking! Run! 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 Okay, that, that was a bad jump. Oh my god, what the heck? No! Oh, okay. I've still got more health. Okay. I thought I was dead. I forget that you actually start with two hits. That's why you're bronze. So I'm now I'm probably in my most basic form. Alright, let's take out Mr. Snake. Oh god, I actually got no signal for a second. Excuse me. What the heck? That was sudden? As soon as I say, oh yeah, it's been going well so far. Now it starts to break. Then again, I am using my 10-foot cable. I might need to use a better cable. But then again, considering my setup, everything's on the opposite side of the room, so I thought this cable would be alright. Clearly not. Did I actually take all of them out? I did. It's just the missiles now. Oh god! Yep, they do that, so you can't stay, stay hanging about. Because you're focusing on shooting everything else. They'll do that to catch you. There we go. I'll say this though, the star hasn't affected my ability to play. But again, I'm going to probably have to mess with a few settings. But this is way better than the first attempt I had. 
Because that was just... No, that was terrible. Even though I played better. <laughs> I mostly just lucked out. Thankfully, uh, the likes of uh, Blue uh, Hedgehog Man 17 and um, Panda Man, they've used Elgato's, so I can ask them for assistance on probably fine tuning. How this thing works. Then again, Capadam Man has the exact same one I have, so he'll probably be the one I need to ask. Because you know, asking for help from the official sources takes a while. I believe this is the end, because that was a ridiculous round. Let's uh back up a bit. Yep, this is the final round. Let's unload all the damage. I believe that's it. And that's it. That's the game. Nice 20 minute adventure. And then you get the actual music that plays, which I'm probably going to just quit before it plays anymore. Because I don't know how that's going to work with, co with copyright, even though I am talking over it. You know how it is on the YouTube scene. But, it is a great song, give it a listen. And we can actually explore during all this, and we can't die. I'm not going to be able to see my total score, but hey, that is a uh, Res Infinite. Area X. So I hope you enjoyed that. I basically covered a full game in a test video of all things. So, and I'm pretty sh happy with that. Other than that weird one half a second where it went no signal at all. It's like I'm pretty sure this is the cable. I mean, this is the cable that I normally use when I output the Roxio to back to the TV, but not to take a recording signal. So. It may not be liking it, so I'll have to probably find another uh, more better cable, or I'm going to have to rearrange my entire setup so that my PC is near all my consoles. So that might be a thing that I might need to do as well. But hey, I think that was a successful test. I'll see if I can upload it so you guys can see it. And until next time, I'll see you guys then.